Yo, right, ladies and gents, how's it going? With all the camping I've been doing on my motorbike recently, I thought I'd sort of show you around how I pack the bike up for putting my tents and sleeping bags and all the stuff I bring with me um, to uh, to camp and be comfortable and all that sort of thing. I've recently got some new bags and stuff, so I'll uh, sort of show you how I've got the bike set up. And um, yeah, yeah, cool. Right, let's go and have a look. Keep that bike from Okay, so as you can see, I've got the Enduristan Blizzard large saddlebags fitted. Uh, these are really handy. I only got these uh, the other day after chatting to Enduristan up at the Adventure Bike Rider Rally. Oh, sorry, Adventure Bike Rider Festival. Um, and uh, yeah, from what I've seen, um, or what I'd seen at that time, they looked like they were going to fit perfectly. And as you can see, they do indeed. Um, they're a great bit of kit. They should be fully waterproof, they're dry bags. Um, and uh, although I've got the Enduristan heat shield, um, I shouldn't even really need that because there is such a large air gap anyway uh, between the luggage and the exhaust pipe. Then I've got my Krieger stuff, which you've seen, um, but I'll show you how I load all that up for the bike with tools and everything. This is the Enduristan on the uh, left side of the bike. It's all very neat and tidy um, and you've got like straps here so you can either make the bag smaller by squashing it down or like I've done here I've attached my seat to it so um, yeah just keeps all the weight down lower which is great I did bring a extra dry bag 40 litre um, Lomo or whatever it's called um, but I didn't really need it uh, these are the only things I couldn't fit in my luggage that I've got on the bike here and I just strapped them onto uh, onto these bits um, which which work fine. Um, it's just a pair of trunks and some flip-flops. Right, so what have we got here? Um, okay, it's gonna be awkward because I haven't got a tripod with me at hat to hand. Uh, but first of all, we've got my tool bag and ready-use stuff. So in here, I keep all the things that I'm possibly gonna need while out riding or um, if something goes wrong with the bike. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's a good little bit of kit, this. Um, so ready-use batteries for my GoPros. Um, nice and handy to be able to get them there. Small bottle of water, which was really handy while I was waiting for the ferry earlier on because I didn't realise I couldn't get to the cafe once I was at the ferry. Then we've got my fuel for my Trangier. And uh, that's just about it for um, my luggage. The rest is stuff that's always in this bag. So we've got a um, tyre repair kit. Oxford tool pack. I'll open that up and show you that in a second. Big old 26 uh, mil spanner. That's so I can do the uh, chain adjustment on this. That's the axle nut for the uh, rear wheel. This is something new I got. Um, it's just some Chinese crap uh, air compressor that goes off a cigarette lighter. I've got an adapter in that as well so I can run it off the uh, Optimate lead that I've got. to the bike and then these are the rest of the tools I bring um, most of these are just sort of hand-me-downs and stuff but I have sort of tailored the kit to fit this bike quite well so I should be pretty much covered with any eventuality out on the road with um, stuff that I'm capable of obviously I wouldn't be able to flash ECU or anything like that but I can uh, um, fix punctures and uh, adjust the chain and sort that sort of stuff out all the emergency stuff so this is how I use the US 10 as a day bag. Uh, so it's got all my tools in it and a few sort of ready use things like cameras and what have you. Um, I haven't got a bottle of water in it at the moment, but that's just because I finished my bottle of water. So there's no point carrying it. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah. So uh, I've, I've showed you all the things that are in there, but I'm just going to go through the tools that we um, you need for the Aprilia as well while you're uh, out and about, just so uh, you can put something together yourself. Right, so I mentioned the air compressor. It's just a, a battery, it goes off your uh, 12 volt bike battery um, or car battery off the cigarette lighter socket. So that's just what it says on the tin, nothing special about that, just a cheapy job you're off of Amazon. I mentioned that you need the 26 mil spanner so that you can adjust your chain if you need to or, or get the rear wheel off. Um, and then uh, also mentioned that I've got this little uh, um, tire repair kit, it's just a tire plug thing. It's actually two um, amalgamated into one, um, so it's got two different types of plugs. So depending on the puncture I get, I've got um, more of a chance of being able to fix it, hopefully. 
the things that we need to go through are the tools I've got in a little tool pouch there and uh, what we've got in the uh, Oxford stuff here. So this Oxford kit is is really neat, I, I quite like it. Um, I think it was about 40 quid, don't quote me on that, I can't remember. If I um, remember to, I'll uh, put some affiliate links or something like that down to these in the description below if you're looking at getting any of these things yourself. So it's kind of quite handy, it's got a socket set on it with some basic sizes. Um, it's also got screwdrivers, both flatheads and uh, um, posi. Um, a pair of pliers and some allen keys and uh, a, a nice little adjustable wrench there as well. We've also got some wire snips too and some cable ties. Um, I also carry my own cable ties as well in uh, the, uh, the dry bag there. So this is quite handy, I quite like this and they're good quality, I mean they're not the best but they're, they're, they're okay, they're, they'll do the job in a pinch. Now in here I've got some handy bits and bobs, it's also the tool roll I take with me on my beater so it's got some bits in there for the beater which I've not removed like spare levers, these will be no use on here but we'll not have it, um, they're pretty. Um, so these are just here because I don't want to have to keep emptying this out when I change motorcycles. Another pair of pliers, it's always handy to have pliers, um, yeah, then you get lost and whatever. Um, adjustable spanner, this was quite handy the other week when um, we were out camping with uh, Curious Goose. Used this to uh, adjust the chain on his bike because that fit the sockets on his um, rear axle. Some rags, always, well it's just a little bit of tissue that is, always handy to have something like that. Some uh, metal putty, so I can uh, hopefully not ever have to, but I can repair um, broken uh, engine casings and stuff like that if you need to, and do other little minor repairs. Uh, we've got Allen key, that kind of generic jobberoo. Um, we've got a valve uh, removal tool. That's quite handy. Screwdriver on the other end of that, it's got a flat head as well. Then we've got um, some uh, spanners which I've sort of cherry picked. Uh, you've got 10 mil, another 10 mil. I think this one was already in here. A 13 mil. Plug key. And a Torx. Um, what size is this? Uh, Oh my eyesight, can't read that. Um, you might be able to read that better than me. Okay. As is this one. It's not a full kit yet, I'm still working on uh, the other bits and bobs that I need for it. But this combined with the Oxford um, will generally get me out of a pinch. I think, I hope. <laughs> it's pretty basic. Um, I'm sure some of you will have better tool sets with your bikes. Um, I saw someone on one of the Aprilia groups that they've hidden all their tools under the saddle, um, which was quite neat. It means that they don't even have to have the day bag on the back. Um, they can just uh, piece it together. Um, they've just got to remember where they've, they've put things on the bike, that's all. <laughs> you know, right, back to the other bits. You've also got in this waterproof pocket, and just some other bits and bobs. I've got loads of ruck straps in there. These are always handy, you can never have enough rock straps <laughs> I've got a side stand puck this is actually my spare side stand puck snood um, and some cable ties in there as well um, so uh, yeah that's my tool bag and ready use stuff um, then uh, let's get on to uh, my luggage okay so I mentioned that we've got our seat under here that just comes off there and then uh, you see my seat on other camping videos handy little thing that's got larger foot um, pegs on it so uh, when you're sitting down on squidgy ground it doesn't sink into it which is quite handy right, let's get this one open a few more other little handy things uh, camera selfie stick uh, for the 360 that's my microfiber towel, you might use that if I go swimming, pillow, t-shirt, socks and grots, and then uh, the more important stuff here, my cagoule or um, uh, cape thingy that everyone takes the mickey out of, 
that works great when it rains. Um, then got my inflatable bed, all my cooking utensils and um, washing stuff and everything's all in that. And then must have stickers. So that's that side. On this side, some already used stuff, battery bank and light. Oh, I do have a tripod. <laughs> Padlock so I can lock the bike up when I'm out and about, keep it safe. Batteries for my 360 camera. 360 camera. And then the actual stuff in here. It's not actually a lot in here, but some good bits. My uh, trusty hoodie. Some shorts, which I'll be putting on in a minute. And then my mug and the very awesome Tranji. Okay, so I'm just going to whip off this just so it's out of the way. So easy to remove. Awesome bits of kit, this Krieger. And then we've got the uh, US 40 wreck sack, I think it's called. And it's quite handy this because you can open it up from both ends should you need to. Um, and it's got this top section here which is great for um, fitting in your tent pegs and what have you. Um, so it means that you can put all the squishy stuff in the bag and the hard stuff that doesn't matter out on that section up there. Again, this is a nice dry bag, so uh, nothing should get, get wet if it rains and stuff. So in here, I've just got my sleeping bag and tent. There we go. I'll show you the tent once it's pitched. Um, but yeah, all the stuff I need for a weekend away. If I was going away for any longer, I'd probably want to bring um, a little bit more clothing and what have you. But being a, a skanky submariner, I can cope with uh, wearing a dirty t-shirt or what other. Well, well, I hope you found that helpful, um, useful and all that sort of stuff, just interesting, just to see what I bring with me when I go camping. It's not a lot. I do like to do things on the minimum. Um, it means I have to spend more money when I get out to places, going to restaurants and what have you, because um, I don't bring the best cooking equipment. Although the Tranji, you can pretty much do what you want on that. It's it's perfectly good for all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm a big fan of the Tranji. So um, yeah, that's my camping stuff. That's my bike and that's the bags that I'm using for it. I'm really pleased with them. They do the job very well. Um, I bought these with my own money, um, but I do rate them, I do recommend them. Um, yeah, they're, they're just that sort of handy size. Um, I haven't got quite as much between the two of them as I would have with a 40 litre bag over the pillion seat, but this keeps the weight a bit lower and it also means I've got all the pillion seat should I even need to bring even more stuff with me so if I was going away for longer I could uh, really load the bike up quite well so anyway I hope you found that helpful um, and interesting at the least um, if you go camping what sort of kit do you bring with you and how do you attach it to your motorbike be interested to hear just drop a, a comment down below and let me know if you haven't done so already click that subscribe button if you like the video give it a little thumbs up we do like them and if you didn't give it a little thumbs down I don't mind I'm not precious but please do like I say drop in a comment down below any housels, you ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Keep that bike from down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bike from down.